What is up everybody and welcome to more Let's Play Fossils and Archaeology. So this is the part where I show you a epic build and I gotta say this is honestly the coolest thing I've seen on the server. This is a uh, carry birds, I don't almost don't want to call it a house because it's a lot more than a house. So uh, we are standing at the entrance right now and this is honestly the most beautiful thing I've seen on the server thus far. So as you can see right here, it's pretty goddamn big and as we walk in. Uh, maybe you guys could get some ideas from this, but I remember she so she just uh, she's also a mod as of recently. I made her a mod, and uh, as you could even just see from the walkway, it's just it's huge, it's beautiful, and Casa di Cari, where symmetry, symmetry does not exist, feel free to stop by if you get lonely. So just to give you an outside look, uh, how big and pretty this is, I really like it a lot, and uh, yeah, and there's a little part on the back too. So I will be going over every part of this. Um, Hopefully you guys do enjoy, and yeah, so if we go, uh, here, let's, what should we check out first? Let's go around the sides, as you can see, if you go around the sides, you do have this little area here. I, I've only been around this house a few times, so I don't know it too well, but uh, here is a staircase way to the, uh, like, actual in the house, which is kind of cool. That almost looks like a roof, though. But you can use it, and then this way, I thought this was awesome, if you go around this side, she has this little thing right here, which is a dino cemetery, and I thought this was awesome, and uh, pe more people should do this since it ran into a really pointy sword, violently attacked the hand that fed him, so, and uh, betrayed master needed to be slain, thought he was Houdini, <laughs> Nibbles Tiblatoris, uh, was neglected by this awful bird, acted out his dream of phasing through walls. I don't want to track anymore. Then she got bored and didn't want to do anymore. And then you have this whole flower pot thing, which is cool. It's like a nice little, uh, not a bodega. What are those things called? Did she run out of wood or is, she, is that purposely there? Whoa. Whoa. Maybe she ran out of wood and she was building it as we speak. So, um, yeah. But now if you fly around the back, there is obviously a way up there. And she does have a very, very colorful sheep farm. So that's exciting. And chickens. Chickens. Yes. And then uh, you do have your pathway into that, but I'll go over that later. There's someone else over there. And uh, so if you go through this, you fly up to here. This is, I think I know what this is. This is actually, oh, maybe not. I, no, I don't know what this is. This is something completely different than what I thought it was. And as you can see, if you fly up here, it's a, it looks like just a nice little, um, like walkway type thing. So now let's go back to the front of the house and actually use the front door. No, you can't look inside. I want to do this formally. So as you can see, this house is very beautiful in my opinion. So if you walk in, you have her enchantment table and uh, here's a cake and you know all this you know just your standard stuff but you look you see all the different pathways and um, here this looks like the way to a mine or something like that there's nothing uh, really exciting down there to show so I'm not gonna show it so if we go down the left route you do go back outside well not back outside but you're indoors still but it's like open more and this looks like um what is this oh this is her fossils area it looks like and this is where she has her culture vats and if they spill out water that's actually a weird way to have why should they propped up why are they not like there at, so they don't spill all over i don't know I, I don't really know but again really cool just the designs are so awesome and uh, i don't know i just really really like everything about this house it's just so cool like, just even like the random things like the bookshelf there and like the flower pots and stuff like that and then uh, obviously there is a staircase downstairs here and this is just a cactus farm for when those guys break and uh, you know you need some cactuses to uh, make new ones or cactus green rather and then if you run back this way you can go upstairs to the next level which this oh there's a nice little hole there that sh there should be glass there in my opinion again and uh, as you can see over there that's the other part that's where her farms are but we'll get to that and when you come up here as you can see there is a exhibit right here and let's read the sign this is Cynthia and Wallace the D Dil Dilophosaurus's and uh, they are dead because they died. But this is where the dil this is the Dilophosaurus exhibit, and there's a little viewing area. But as you can see, this exhibit is freaking awesome. It actually looks like a habitat, and you know it has all the trees, a nice little lake, lily pads, stone stuff like that. If you go this way, you can see the um, viewing pad, and you can you know check on them, watch them. And I just think this is freaking awesome. I love this so much. I, I, all these exhibits that she made, I just find to be so cool. And uh, as you can see, if you go this way, there is, this is the pathway to this part where we were right around here before. And if we go in here, 
you can see this is this looks like a ice exhibit so again very very cool and uh, here is where we were before the little viewing area part thing where you can look into the ice uh like the tundra exhibit i guess you could call it and it has ice and uh rock stone dirt and it, this little shelter right here this is freaking awesome like how do you just not love this? I want. I wish more people made exhibits of this quality and detail. Like just the little things that make it so perfect. And I do use the word perfect because I think they are pretty goddamn perfect. And what's that? There's a sign there. Oh wait, we could go. We could go around. I see. This is almost like hidden. But um, Leonardo and oh, this. So this looks like this was the Stegosaurus exhibit, and or Stegosaurus. I, I don't really know. So are these two Stegosaurus exhibits? And that looks just like if you went up those, it would have been the viewing deck to them. Oh, look at this, the little awesome glass uh, thing right there. And it looks like yeah, it looks like it was two Stegosauruses. And also, if the, you keep them together, they will breed. So probably uh, you know, kind of good to separate them from time to time, as some people were having like way too many psychosauruses and even like these the little the different colors of wood the different uses of stone and stone bricks and the incorporation of fences i feel like are just so awesome and yeah again like she uses all different types of wood all throughout her complex i'm calling it because it's just so goddamn huge so we went this way already right yeah, this is the viewing deck right here and uh, over here this is another i don't think we went this way no we didn't so right well, oh, I got locked out. So, um, I don't know what this is, to be honest. It, this looks like almost like a pterosaur exhibit, but there is no sign labeled. Actually, we could check, can't we? Nope. Oh, uh, uh, well, it's meat, so I, I guess, yeah, it would be a pterosaur exhibit, wouldn't it? And uh, it's like a giant cage, and they could fly up and stuff. So, that that's just what I imagined it would be, as it is nice and big. Oh, if, whoa, nice and big. Ha, ah, funny, I caught myself there. But uh, yeah, again, so a really cool one. I really like this one. And there's a skeleton on top, and he's jumping off. And he shot me once. Thank God for God mode. So if we jump back down, or climb back down, rather, not jump. This is, uh, here, let's go back down. All the way down. So if we fall back down, here's obviously her bed. Look, there's other people here. So if we go this way, you can see this awesome place. And let's close that door behind us. So you see all of here. This looks like a... Um, sugarcane farm and there are lily pads back there so they don't fall in the water yet you can do stuff in water and this is obviously where she puts it after she's done using it and if you go into the second level you have a wheat and cocoa bean farm and then back here carrot pumpkin or those are carrots right carrots potatoes and yeah just carrots and potatoes and then you have the melon and pumpkin farms and if we go back here again this is really cool i really like just how they are put in there and stuff so now if you climb back up here yeah yeah that's really it up there so i'm getting lost because this, i think i'm getting confused where the roof and the stairs are so then you could go back through here so again really freaking awesome just the detail that's going into the exhibits i just want to fly around to make sure i didn't miss anything and just the detail is immense that goes into the exhibits i, I like this huge opening here too and it's not symmetrical which is i think is really cool and uh like as you can see right here this isn't this is also new isn't it yeah because i don't remember seeing that like it's not symmetrical which a lot of people in minecraft make symmetrical stuff and i i, I like it how it's not symmetrical i think it's really complemented well and also, oh yeah we didn't go over here so how did i get to this place how did i miss this oh this is you didn't you if you went around the left side so yeah i see i obviously didn't go around the left side and this looks just like looks like her nether portal but if you were around here i did see this already and uh, this was actually one of the first things i saw when i came here this is the pterosaur exhibit it looks like and probably a mosasaurus exhibit as well but uh, it is basically a giant freaking fish tank and it's awesome i love the uh, different levels and uh, just the giant glass part of it and oh there's a pig farm back here too but yeah so Again, awesome house, complex, whatever you want to call it. I think it's one of the coolest, if not the coolest, on the server right now. Definitely the coolest one I've seen, but I haven't obviously seen everything. So, if you guys want to check this out, you can ask her in-game for coordinates. I don't know if she wants, you know, people, everyone coming here. That's why I don't put the coordinates of the builds I show, as uh, I don't know if everyone wants to have people at their house. So, again, I thank you all for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this, and uh, yeah, so, big hat on the back to carry bird i guess you could say because that thing is freaking awesome and i hope you'll agree so yeah thanks for watching if you do want to join the server you can apply in the description there's a link to apply in the description so yeah hope to see you all next time